Very good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is your cruise director, Drew, in our beautiful Michael's Club Lounge, and you are watching Celebrity Discoveries Enrichment Profiles. I'm here with caricature artist Al Rodriguez. Al, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me back, Drew. Great to have you on board. I got uh, the pleasure to work with Al a couple times before. Uh, so, Al, you're, you're joining us on board Century to uh, enrich our guest experience by drawing their caricatures. That's right. I'm drawing funny pictures of everybody. Cool. How, how do you get, I mean, how does one, dis, I mean, does one, first of all, decide to become a caricature artist? Uh, and, and, and what sort of things, what, what events in one's life might lead one to make such a decision? I, I suspect that most people kind of, just fall, kind of fall into it. That's kind of how, how I didn't pursue it or anything. It's just kind of something I uh, ended up doing. I think there are a few people out there that really do pursue it, but it just sort of kind of happened to me. I was, I was, uh, I was going to art school, happened to move to, uh, uh, like, right next to a theme park uh, in Tampa, right. Florida, Bush, Bush Gardens. And um, they needed a, you know, an artist to fill in, and and I thought, oh, what a cool way to work my way through art school. You know, it just seemed very novel. And I mean, that was like 20. That's over 20 years ago. So it just kind of stuck. And uh, now it's just, it's, it's actually a, a nice way to, you know, make a living and you know, a lot of freedom yeah, see and the world and and yeah, do the cruises and do. It has a lot of perks. Has a lot of perks. I've I've really enjoyed it. So when you when you're doing someone's caricature, what what I mean. Like how how do you do? What sort of goes through your mind uh, as you as you study someone's face? As far as I mean, you're, you're you're searching for specific kind of features that you can pick out and, and accentuate, or how do you do that? Yeah, jokingly, when, when I've been asked this, I usually I'm screaming in my head because I'm trying to like you know look at everybody. Everyone's a challenge. First off, there's no set, you know, there's no set thing. I can't just my mind can't just turn off and start thinking about other stuff. And I just have, I every time somebody sits down, it's a totally different challenge. I really have to concentrate on them. Everyone's got a different look, and basically, I'm looking for the what is it about them that makes it look like them? Because I'm not, I don't really draw what I see. I'm drawing an interpretation, a cartoon interpretation. So I'm right. doing something very stylized, and uh, it's really funny because you hear people, you know, like people talk like I can't hear them. You know, they're just, you know, they're giving me their opinions or they're just talking among themselves. I get that too. I hear voices <laughs> all the time, but yeah, it's, yeah. So, so, so you hear people behind, you know, behind me. Oh, they they focus on one feature, or you know, they or I'm looking for the bad feature, or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. And um, it's kind of no, nothing like that, really. It's uh, I'm looking at how all the features pretty much relate to each other. How you know, how the eyes, how close they are, how far apart they are, how they all relate to each other. Con the contrast right. between all the features. So I'm not just looking for the big nose, or the big ears, or anything like that. I mean, if I just draw a nose, it. it it in itself doesn't really mean much unless you see it, you know, with the eyes and how close they are, or how far apart, or you know, just size-wise and all that. Right. So it's just it's really just kind of mixed. I'm looking for I'm looking for the mix. I'm looking for you know how all the features are, you know, essentially. If you were to kind of look at somebody and you know and squint to kind of like oh what you know what kind of makes them look like them, yeah. that's pretty much what I'm pretty much looking for. Yeah, can can you sort of turn this on and off like? It, as you sit and have a coffee with somebody, are you are you <laughs> studying their face and breaking it down? If I, have, like if I, I do. Have if I have time, I was just doing the. Um, I was just at the the lifeboat thing, and if I just, if I'm sitting there just kind of with time to look around, I'm checking people out. I'm kind Drawing of mental you know, characters. Yeah, at the airport, at the DMV, I, I totally I do it all the time. Watching I'm, movies. I'm definitely guilty of it. Yes, I'm definitely guilty of it. Do you ever get to? Uh, I mean, has. Uh, do do do, do, celeb do famous people you know uh, request caricature? Like, have you ever had somebody that uh, sort of sit down in your chair at a, at a park or on a ship, or the, and then you, you look up and it's it's a celebrity, it's somebody that you that you know? You know, it's only happened once. I've only had one semi you know uh, famous person. It was uh, Tony Lasorda. Tony Lasorda. Yeah. He actually cruised with us once. Was did he really? Yeah, he did. Okay. Did he yeah. mention me? Did he submit? <laughs> he did. He did. In fact, in fact, he was. He was showing. He had a bunch of pictures in his wallet. He had his kids. He had his wife, and he had a little little caricature. A little caricature. Probably, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That was like years ago. I think he might have actually had your picture in the wallet too. You might want to talk to him about that. All right. I'll. I'll, I'll give him a call. <laughs> Al, yeah. great to have you here. Oh, thanks for having me. Drew. And by the way, we should mention this is a complimentary service, free of yes, charge. Yes, complimentary. Yes. Uh, they can stop now. Do they have to sign up? Do guests have to sign up with you? Uh, no, I, I whip them out pretty quick. Uh, I'll uh, I'll knock them out in about three to five minutes per person. I will draw uh, individuals or or uh, doubles. So couples, you want to get drawn together? That's cool too. And uh, no, yeah, it's complimentary. Just come and you know, get That's one great. done. You got yeah, nothing to lose. Soon. Absolutely. Uh, if you hate it, just rip it up, throw it in my <laughs> face, and you know, tell me how bad I am. Or you know, draw one of him and then see how much. <laughs> yes, he yes, yes, yes. Has it, have you ever had that happen? Yes, it's actually it's actually really refreshing because people then actually see how tough it is. 
you know, I'm gonna, when they I'm actually gonna do try one. to do it. I'm going to have one. I'm going to have each member of my staff do one of you, and we're going to see what you All right. Do. I'd, I'd happily see that. In happen. fact, this, this is even better. We're going to, I just, this was not pre planned. I want, I'm going to have a caricature the caricaturist contest. And we're going to do a uh, celebrity prize package. I'll Jody whip up a t shirts, luggage tags, ballpoint, whatever prize that we have. Uh, we'll run it throughout the cruise, and we'll figure out on the, on the last sea day, we'll award the winner. So if you want to win a celebrity prize package, uh, stop by and see Al while he's doing caricatures and draw his caricature. I look forward to this. <laughs> uh, stop by. Now, watch for his name in the program. I, I think he's going to be in the Cova most of the time. He might be at a couple of our uh, theme events and whatnot. So watch for his name. Stop by and, and have a time. It should be lots of fun. Al, thanks again for being here. Uh, thanks, Drew. And uh, thanks for watching. We have lots more coming up on Channel 15. Don't go away.